Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So now we are on the fire signs. I'm going to do the fire signs next with the witch's tarot. It's the same as the others um, that I used for the rest, but I'll show you them anyway. The animal allies and gemstone are guardians, Margaret and Rainbow. And the archangel and gemstone guardians, Margaret and Rainbow like a set really um i'm going to use those because i've used them for all the other readings so i figured why not use them in this reading too <sighs> so, but i'm also using the witch's tarot as well so yeah what i want to say is obviously it's a general reading it may not resonate with everyone and it's important to remember that tarot card is seen as entertainment only and should never be replaced for professional advice in your life. That is not a good idea. But it's the fire signs next. So Sagittarius, Leo and Aries are coming right up. So fire signs for this month and we're on Sagittarius first. So let's see. Don't vibration there, so I'm just going to see if it gives me another guys. I get like um, a tingling, but ah, I've got it. Sorry, I've got it. I have to wait until it's the right card. Right, Sagittarius. We're going to do these first, then we'll do your other cards, obviously. The first one out is the lovely chariot rising above you are rising above things that have been happening around you flying above the clouds being on a higher perspective and being able to see things from a new light but you're not alone you have someone with you so this is triumph and victory but it's also being able to rise above and see things from a different perspective obviously it's having someone with you as well which is always good and then we have victory within transformation with the ace, uh, ace of wands. Um, a celebration of friendship is to come as well. And again, again, it's just rising above. So Sagittarius, whatever has happened in your life at this present moment, it's transformed you and brought in a big transformation, new friendships and some celebrations are on the way, but you have risen above to victory so you can see so much clearer now and you have your answers in which you have been seeking um that's definitely shown in these two cards here oh my gosh but then we have the world and the sun the world and the sun together is like wow it's very powerful and some major arcana here isn't it? <laughs> um i'm sure you know that this is abundance and growth, adventure, opportunities, celebrations, being at one with yourself, improvements. Um, it's definitely happiness and fun and frolicky times. Um, it's also, again, there's something about a brand new friendship that's extremely empowering. Along your way, you will meet someone who's really aligned to, to you. And this means it's such a, it's a very, very special friendship anyway. Um, there's definitely fun and frolic and adventure to be had. And even, possibly, a wish granted. As you can see, um, Sagittarius, that is probably like one of the best readings that I've ever done. Sorry guys. <laughs> it's unreal. Honestly, it's. It's just a very powerful reading that's all really good. Like, whatever it is that's happened, 
you've rose above it and come out on top regardless so there's some really really good things to come into your life very good things so let's um Sagittarius for this month let's see what card the archangel cards want to give us <laughs> Archangel Jamil, my heart is open to giving and receiving love. I transform the world around me through focusing my energy and intentions on divine love. Every word I say and every thought I think travel on the frequency of love. And that's what the angels say, affirmations. You've got the watermelon tourmaline one. I love that crystal, it's beautiful. Are you looking for romance? Do you need more attention and affection? It's time to nurture yourself and treat yourself the way you want others to treat you. This is a good time to rev up your self-acceptance and increase your willingness to allow others and allow more love in your life. So that could definitely be the new friendship that's coming into your life. Let's see what animal crystal card <coughs> and it throws it at me. It gave me two. The first one it gave me is a butterfly. I embrace the hard earned lessons of the past to catapult me into a bright and positive future. I easily adapt to my changing environment. Change is good. I recognise that all changes bring better life situations, opportunities, constantly present themselves to me. I recognise opportunities and take immediate action. That's the butterfly. It's a transformation, but it's very positive. With the phantom quartz, which is another beautiful crystal. Do you go with the flow? Is change imminent? Are you able to accept a new life or a new way of being? The winds of change are blowing into your life. Transform and transmute the old and allow yourself to open to a new start. Dance a dance of joy and happiness as you spread your wings. All positive cards are really so there. And then it gave you the otter. And sometimes I usually just get one of these cards, but other times I get two and this is one of those occasions. I find a balance in my life through play, work, rest, exercise and laughter. My creative energy is alive. I easily nurture myself. My visualisations focus on positive outcomes. I spend time at the water's edge to regain my balance. I attract nurturing, happy people into my life. This came with the yellow jasper. Are you paying attention to details? Do you have a tendency to over scrutinize things? Consider recognizing and rearranging your home so you can see what you need to use on all levels. You might be missing something that is right in front of you. It's time to pay attention to the minute of life. So basically the minute of life with focus, you have the opportunity to see other areas of your life with great clarity. And they're just really guidance for you because your readings like Immaculate Sagittarius, it's, a, it's such a powerful reading. You have nothing to worry about this month, I would say. It's a really good reading. But that's your reading, Sagittarius. Obviously, it may not resonate with everyone. Take what you can and leave the rest behind. Many blessings. Hello, this is for Leo for this month, obviously. Um, we're going to start with the tarot first, Leo, and see what's to come this month for the lion. Right, let's see 
what we have. Ooh, we start off with the moon. Now, the moon is all about reflection of emotions and learning the power within the dark. It's hidden things being brought forward for you to deal with and adapt to. Obviously, it's the mother goddess because this is the witch's tarot, so it's, this signifies Hecate and her wolves um, in, a, you know, in a witch's tarot way. But however, if you're looking at it in general, you're looking at a shadow time, a time to go within and reflect, reflect upon the past and the present, what you want from life and where to go forward, look for guidance, work on your shadow self because everyone has a shadow self and sometimes it does need working on but this is mainly um, about finding the light in the dark and reflecting upon one's decisions and one's past and present then we have justice well known as the libra card but obviously justice is justice it's balance it's getting things put right it's receiving and giving in full force everyone knows what the justice card means it's absolute balance alignment and anything that's karmic value i suppose so anything that you've dealt out will come back to you justice is justice and then we have the eight of pentacles so this is studying studying the old in order to make something new and create a further opportunity so it could be a new course that you're looking to take um, a new business venture maybe you want to look into something like archaeology or um, something like that something that's quite ancestral and old it's definitely ancestral um, knowledge but it's more of a learning of a particular thing that you've had your eye on but you've not yet started so it's, it's growing and developing so you can use that skill as you go forward in life and then we have the eight of wands and the eight of wands is like a leap into the unknown but you're not doing it alone it's going into foggy areas misty areas taking chances that you wouldn't normally take but you are not doing it alone you have people around you that are willing to take that chance with you to new pastures willing to take you through the ocean over the mountains to a new place where you will benefit um, your future will benefit from this so it's a journey but it's a positive journey because you have people around you but it is like taking a risk it's making a leap into the unknown hmm the high priestess the high priestess is extremely powerful she is the one that brings success learns you of your gifts and your abilities through life and it puts you on that path reaching your best goals in which you can reach it's almost it's almost like justice bring different parts of life so it's because you take that leap of faith into the unknown, this is like the reward for that. It's a very good reward, it's a high reward. It's seeing changes within yourself and opening up to a, a new vision and a new path in life, a new way forward that brings empowerment within yourself and also brings abundance around you. So not just for you, but for people around you too. There, your tarot, Leo. So let's um, see what angel gemstone card you get. Remember that angels are different for everyone, so it does depend. Archangel Gabriel. My dreams are filled with ideas and inspiration. I awaken with a clear memory of my dreams and easily interpret them. 
The insights I receive from dreams bring clarity and understanding to my life. So watch out for those signs within your dreams because this is all about gaining that new empowerment and it could be that, it could be something to do with dream work. So it's the Hark and the Diamond is the crystal. Are you able to recall your dreams? Dreams can be your internal psychologist and spiritual advisor. Take the time before going to sleep to form the intention to remember your dream or dreams. Record them when you awaken and use them for contemplation. Dreams are powerful tools for self-healing, personal awareness and spiritual growth. So if you are not a dream maker, and if you don't use your dreams, it might be something you want to look into um, that will probably definitely guide you in life. Mm, animal and crystal. Let's see. This one. I knew it was that one there. Is that the same? I just want to check. <laughs> you have the snake. Now, right, I love snakes. Snakes are very beautiful creatures, very misunderstood. It is safe for me to feel my feelings. Feelings of anger, sorrow and grief will pass as I realise as sorry, as I release them from my body. It is easy for me to transform and transmute challenging life situations. Spiritual initiations have taught me and improved me. A new cycle offers a new and happier promise. So it's a good start, it's a good renewal. The black obsidian harrowheads. It's time to transform a challenging situation. Do you need to shed layers of emotions and disappointment? Are you completing a chapter of your life? It's time to finalise. Releasing which is old and worn. Let go of the past and open your heart and mind to a new start. New opportunities are before you. Be open and embrace your new beginnings. Which is perfect. That fits in with the journey in which I'm undertaking. I think that aligns with it just right. Remember to look into your dreams because there could be messages in there that you're missing. And it could be a new gift that's come to light. So that's your reading for this month, my dear Leo. <laughs> Love and light and many blessings. Hello guys, welcome Aries to your reading. Last but never least, my lovely Aries, we shall see what this month the tarot cards say for our lovely Aries. Well, we both don't draw much more. We just kind of leaped out that one. We have the Knight of Wands, um, there's a victory to be had, it's charging through the fire flames and um, overpowering emotions that you're going to get through. Uh, it's definitely not with victory though, and a victory through balance and adaptation, you're going to adapt a lot, and this is going to bring about you on the right path and overpowering something that needs to be overpowered in order for you to go forward in life Aries and then we have the knight of swords which is another victory but it's separate from this victory so if there's something that's double standard in your life right now or if there are two things um, because there's a separate that you see 
can see there's two victories, but it's actually in two separate parts of your life. So, whereas one feels like a victory of overcoming emotions and releasing things so the fire overpowers the emotion and treasures you through to victory and balance, this one feels more like a victory as in a leap of faith victory, as in you take that leap forward and as you do, it's a spark goes off in your head that's like, yes, and, and then it's victory, but definitely two separate types of victory in your life, this month is showing. This is more of a spiritual type deal and a leap of faith that brings victory. So this is more of an emotional and a balancing victory. And victory it does because then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Big opportunities. I see a lot of opportunities to come and a lot of abundance and growth to come. I see growth in every aspect of your life um, by taking this leap of faith right here. You've got to go, go through this or you are going through this at the moment, but you're going to be victorious on this. But then you're going to have this victory, which brings about your abundance. And this, I, I'm seeing a lot. Like, that's the first thing that I saw was, like, everything just, just lots of stuff. Lots of, well, the way I see it, the way I'm showing it, is all these flowers blooming at once. Many, many flowers opening and blooming at once. That's how I see abundance. So it's definitely abundance, but it's many opportunities to come your way. And each opportunity brings something new to you. And whatever it is that's new, though, brings happiness. And it's like, it shines a light on you and then you can shine a light on others. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have stability. We have stability in home life, gathering of family, family stability, lineage, um, companionship. The This is definitely, um, it's like later in life stability. It's the stability that's needed for a family to grow. It's that kind of being stable and being able to invest in the home some more, have some more family time have some more peace time with the family, get together and have dinner sort of deal. So it's definitely bonding within the family and a stability that's coming to the family, um, but also could be stabilising the home, working on the home, being able to do that. Then we have the Three of Swords, which is usually a heartbreak and loss. It could be a loss for you, but I'm not, I don't want to go into what kind of loss. I am getting a message that, but, oh, what should I say? It? I'm not going to say that, but it's basically saying like this is a loss in the family. And it don't mean death, but it means you could have a falling out, you know, with someone. Um, you could find out that someone that you thought you trusted cannot be trusted. But it's okay because when this loss comes in, you have people that are around you that understand and they are willing to be with you and and help you along the way. So everything happens for a reason, remember. So if there is a loss to come, I'm very, very nervous that card, I'm sorry, the way it came out and things. But um, if there is a loss to come, then remember everything happens for a reason. And that loss um, will be there for a reason, but there are people around you that are supporting you at this time when this loss comes in. So it's nothing to fear. You could have a falling out with a work person or, you know, someone in the family, but we all do. And then we all just, you know, we get on with it. <clears throat> so then we have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is a very, very powerful energy, very much dominating energy. She... Um, sits upon that throne, does not mean you have to be feminine, feminine, masculine, we all have it in us, but upon that throne, she proceeds a very powerful, knowing what she wants, having everything that she wants, and the passion that she has within inside her burns like a fire, and this passion she's put into play through her life to be able to now sit at the top, 
and look around on everybody and know that she has done this she has created this powerful person that she is and she's able to sit in all her glory and enjoy every minute of it so it's a very successful outcome regardless that's what i'm saying it doesn't matter because overall this is a really positive and really good reading let's see aries if we can get you a crystal card crystal angel Archangel Gabriel, vital life force flows vibrantly through me. I am strong and healthy. I am grateful for my energetic passion for life. I am self-motivated to be productive and I am abundant and I am safe. That's this one, but you did get another and then I'll give you crystals afterwards. Archangel Shamil. I attract healthy, harmonious relationships into my life. My colleagues, friends and family respect me and accept me exactly as I am. It's wonderful to be liked and loved so much by such wonderful people. See, that's what I'm saying. You have the support around you. You are very, very loved. Then we have the relationship quartz crystal. Are you ready to meet a new love of your life? Or reignite your connection with your partner. Cultivate the loving relationship in your life. Change your mindset to think as we rather than I to attract or renew more love in your life. It doesn't have to be love. It could just be a friendship. And then the Archangel Ariel one had the ruby. Do you want to add a little pizzazz to your life? Have you been feeling tired lately? It's time to take steps to improve your endurance and overall health. Get your energy centres recharged and renew your passion for living a vibrant life, which is great because that's what happens in the end. You know, you're sat there with such a vibrant life full of passion. Let's do the animal ally card now. Sometimes I get one and sometimes I get two. I don't like being thrown at the light, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> you got the porcupine. I am discerning about people I allow into my life. I am mindful of being with people who support my fun and loving vibration. It's time for me to take time for recreation and play. I enjoy life. I'm a good nature and easygoing person. Occupine. And then we have the purple dyed agate. Are you keeping company with people you respect? Do you feel vulnerable? Are you allowing plenty of time to enjoy life? Be careful about who you let into your inner circle. Notice, notice if there are people or situations that are causing you discomfort. Adjust your life as you are so supported by loving family and friends. Remember, enjoy life and play. So that kind of makes sense with, I said you had all this support around you. And with that hurt, you know, that it could be that, definitely. That would make a lot of sense in today's. It will not resonate with everyone because it is a general reading, remember Aries? But that's your reading for this month. I hope it helps you with love and light and many things. Blessings.